Hi there, everyone out there on YouTube. Recently, the atheists on YouTube have gone too far. Usually, they're content to one-star my videos, or post really nasty comments, or make inflammatory videos. But in this case, they're actually endangering my life by publishing personal information. They're uh, endangering my family. They're trying to get me offline permanently and have my account and videos deleted. And they're trying to have uh, lawsuit action be taken against me. Basically, anything they can and will do. They're after, they're after blood. They want blood. I'm going to tell you guys in this video what you guys can do to help me, as well as put an end to this abuse, and that's what it is. I filed a few DMCA's a few days ago against people who have been uploading and editing my videos to their own channels without my permission. The DMCA is meant to protect the intellectual property rights of those who publish works online, like myself. These users, one in particular named DPR Jones, whom I filed DMCA's against, has now threatened to take lawsuit action against me and to have my YouTube channel removed. DPR Jones threatened me and said if I don't remove my YouTube account within 10 days of this video right now being posted, he's going to take lawsuit action against me and talk to YouTube about me and maybe get my account suspended or removed for filing DMCA's against him. Now, I'm going to show you guys why I felt the DMCA uh, that I posted was in the right, that I did own the rights to the videos that he posted. So we're going to be looking at the terms of service. Now, I also want you to, to keep a few other things in mind. The atheists on YouTube are usually the people all up in arms about freedom of speech, but it seems they only want the atheists to have that freedom. As soon as a Christian, you know, it's obvious that they don't want the Christians on here talking because they look at the way they treat us, the ones starring the videos, the, the swear words. They don't dialogue with us. They don't treat us with respect. And we Christians certainly don't treat them the way they treat us. We'll ignore them and we'll block them, but we certainly, we certainly will not create inflammatory hatred towards them. And it is not my intent in this video to make inflammatory hatred towards any atheist in particular, but there is this concern that DPR Jones is literally, literally after me, as well as all his cronies. So I need you guys to, to do your best uh, to help me out here, and I'm going to tell you what you guys can do about it. So let's quickly look at the terms of service and why I felt that I was in the right in posting the DMCAs. Under the YouTube Terms of Service, number 6, Your User Submissions and Conduct, bullet point C. For clarity, you retain all of your ownership rights in your user submissions. However, by submitting user submissions to YouTube, you hereby grant YouTube a worldwide, non-exclusive, royalty-free, sub-licensable, and transferable license to use, reproduce, distribute, prepare de derivative works of, display, and perform the user submissions in connection with the YouTube website and the YouTubes and its successors and affiliates business, including without limitation for promoting and redistributing part or all of the YouTube website and derivative works thereof in any media formats and through any media channels. You also hereby waive any moral rights you may have in your user submissions and grant each user of the YouTube website a non-exclusive license to access your user submissions through the website and to use, reproduce, distribute, display, and perform such user submissions as permitted through the functionality of the website and under these terms of service. Here's the important point. The above licenses granted by you in user videos terminate within a commercial, commercially reasonable time after you remove or delete your user videos from the YouTube service. So people are allowed to edit and upload your videos until you delete them. Then all of those rights are terminated. That's what it says right here. So according to the YouTube Terms of Service, the videos that I posted and deleted, which are the very videos that DPR Jones and others have uploaded to their channels and edited, I own the rights because once those videos were deleted, YouTube no longer owns them. I do. So the DMCA's were correct. Now, YouTube is a largely automated website, so they might, they might not know that. In fact, there may not be a person on the other end. The fact that DPR Jones counter-notified me, and that in order for me to counter-notify the counter-notifications that he posted, I'd actually need a lawyer and all that, it turns out that I'm probably not going to be able to counter-notify the counter-notification, which means very well that my account could be removed by YouTube automatically without any review. If that is the case, of course, I will contest it and follow it up. 
However, the real concern is if he decides to take lawsuit action against me and accuse me of filing false DMCAs against him. Now, I've already shown you that I feel that I'm in my rights, and I feel like I could make a pretty good case based on the terms of service. However, a lawsuit is costly, and I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen next. If my channel is removed, after all, DPR Jones says I have 10 days to remove my channel or he's going to report me, it may turn out that I have to remove my channel myself, or YouTube may do it themselves. Who knows what's going to happen? And so, I need you guys out there to be able to contact me and know what's going on, regardless of what happens. Other users I'm going to be keeping in contact with, regardless of what happens to this channel, like JesusFreak777, Philo71, Gear Up. Basically, keep in tune with these guys, watch their channels within the next 10 days, see what's going on over there, just in case anything this, to this channel happens. If this channel's still up in 10 days or in a month, you don't have anything to worry about, but uh, if this channel disappears for, the, for whatever reason, I'll follow up with them and they'll be able to tell you what happened. I also need you guys, in the event that uh, there is a lawsuit, I need you guys to support me. This, we're all in this together. If you want this channel on here, if you want Christians on YouTube to have a voice. This needs to be contested. And if you want atheists to not have the right to just take our videos and slander us and humiliate us, well, someone needs to take a stand, so I'm not going to be bullied. I am not going to delete my channel unless I can see no other way to deal with this in 10 days. We're going to see how it goes. So anyways, my email is support at venomfangxsite.com. That's also my PayPal account. Uh, I'm not asking for donations right now, but if my channel goes offline and if this becomes a lawsuit, I am going to need your support. And so, uh, check with those other YouTube users. Please copy and write down my email so you know how to contact me in the event that this channel goes offline. And I'll be sure to let you guys know if there's a lawsuit going on or not. And, um, yeah, we're going to fight this. Now, in the event that I win, and I will, because I am within my rights according to the terms of service, that also means that I can go after every other atheist who has posted videos about me, using video footage of me, from videos that I have deleted. And since that's the majority of videos, including Thunderfoot's Why Do People Laugh at Creationist series, I'm going to take a huge chunk, if this is how you guys want to play it, I'm going to take a huge chunk of videos down with me. Now, I don't want to do that. The, the ones that I DMCA'd were videos like Why People Should Hate Venom Fang X. That's just ridiculous and dangerous, frankly, as someone who's received death threats and seeing the amount of hostility that is going on in the atheist community right now. It's just, it is unjustified and frankly, evil and dangerous. So, this can either end right here, DPR Jones can drop the whole thing um, and can delete those videos that I requested that he deleted, or we can get, we can get nuts and we can, I mean, yeah. How far do you want to take this, guys? So, support at VenomFangXSite.com. Keep in tune with the other YouTube users. And let's see what happens. I don't know if this channel is going to be here in 10 days. I honestly don't. But with your help, guys, no matter what happens, we can overcome. God bless. I quote, It's not okay to use someone else's material, even if you edit it together or mash up other works. Alter it by 10%, 20%, 30%, etc. Only use 30 seconds or a song or a video clip. Found it on the internet. Nobody sent you a copyright notice. Paid for it. Gave proper attribution. Credits are only singing the words of a favorite copyrighted song. This is copyright infringement and your video will be deleted.